Okay, so welcome to the video, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the complete floor one guide. This will not be for floor two. Um, I will do floor two for my, for my next video, and I'll be pushing that out as soon as I can. But, anyways, this will be floor two, and yeah, once you make it to Castle of Light, just make sure you got food and stuff, you know. But, anyways, once you make it to Castle of Light, you just wanna click on, you're gonna talk to this guy, and basically, he's gonna give you dialogue. Just, just click on whatever, and then he'll say, like, you'll say, I'm ready. And you click on I'm ready to go down. I'm ready should be three for you, but it's four for me just because I have other stuff. But anyways, I'll meet you when I'm down there. So once you've loaded into floor one, you'll be facing this way, right? You want to simply just turn around. You don't got to worry about that way. You can get to the door that way, but you, you need, you're doing this solo, right? So you want to turn around and you got to climb up this, uh, like rocks or whatever. This is how you get the key for you. It will be a lot blurrier, but I will show it you how to make it not blurry. But anyways, just jump over here. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying. Uh, my bad for like kind of be shit at explanations. Uh, explaining explaining is not my best thing. But just follow my path. And also, as I was saying, it, it will be a lot blurrier for you because of the snow blizzard. But I will show you how to get rid of that because it's one of the uh, talents or quests you have to do in that game. But anyways, once you come over this TP hut, just uh, grab the key that's right there for the door. Also, go, jump over the TP hut because if you don't, then you could aggro a mob that's inside. I've done it before, and it's kind of annoying to fight if you don't know how to fight it. But anyways, once you do, just just climb back down here or get back down here to where you were. And there'll be a path here that you want to continue taking, and and the door will be right behind this uh, cave or whatever this is. And just kind of jump over it. Um, I'll do my best explaining. Like I said, I'm not the best at explaining. Just kind of follow my path. And yeah, now you give the key to this door right here. Just take the right. Uh, don't worry about the left. That's where you. Uh, that's where you go to spawn. You just give the key to the door, and it should open. Just like that. And then you just want you just want to make your way through whatever, right? Don't worry about this NPC. He doesn't really do much. Just kind of ignore him. And okay, now this is where it splits into three things. Uh, first, I'll be explaining how to get to the lanterns, and then I'll come back and explain how to do uh, the gale wax and get the talent. Okay, anyways, um, everything will also be timestamped, like I was saying. But anyway, this will be the timestamp for uh, getting to the lanterns. And lanterns is how you uh, get rid of these parasites that will be around your body, the little white balls. The parasites are you know very dangerous. If you get five of them, I'm pretty sure you die. So you want to be careful with that. Also, um, keep track of your light hook time because if you run out of light hook time then you that means you cannot light hook out and light hooking out just means like you're safe right if you don't have time on light then you're gonna you, you'll die if you don't have the light hook you'll completely wipe so once you make it past this path don't worry about taking that right that's kind of not important right now just follow my path come through here like i said it'll be a lot blurrier but just do your best on following me and also push through the wind you don't want to push you don't want the wind to push you, you got to push through the wind because if you don't then you'll fall. My bad, I am explaining this as I go. It's a lot into I know it's a lot of information to take. But yeah, just do your best, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the best at explaining. But I'll do my best to, to do like some tricks or like tips and tricks or whatever. But you also can make this little skip if you're not confident with going around. Or not not like that. If you don't wanna waste time going around pushing through the wind, you can make this little skip. There's no wind that push you off, so don't worry. That skip is completely possible and then just climb up this uh, tower, whatever this is called. And then there'll be wind here, so watch out, push against this so you don't fall. And basically just be patient, you know, don't don't try to make the jump. You won't be able to jump while pushing through the wind. So just push against the wind, wait until the wind stops coming at you. And then just make the jump, just jump over a dash, right? Just come down, slide here. There'll be three paths, don't worry about this path. And we'll worry about this path in a minute, you just want to come to this castle right here. You want to take the middle path, basically, is what this is. And this is how you get to the lantern, so just push against the wind while walking sideways, and you'll be fine. And yep, you just climb up this ladder or whatever. You can climb up this and climb up this, and you're here at the castle of like lanterns or whatever. The pilgrim respite. Um, we don't need to worry about that or this uh, entrance or exit for, uh, right now. First, we're gonna go and turn on the generator, which uh, just come down here, follow my path once again, come out through where you entered, and just fo follow me. Come down here. Don't worry about this uh, hook or whatever. To take this hook or the zip lines or whatever you want to call them. You need a talent, which I will be showing, and why am I being pushed up? But I'll be showing how to get that, and it'll be time stopped as well. Anyways, once you come down here, now you want to worry about this last path that I was talking about, that you don't want to worry about yet. So just come up here to this last path, and now this is how you get to Bone Keeper. And Bone Keeper is basically um, the, a mini boss, right? Uh, people say he's harder than Chaser. I would not say that. I would say it's pretty simple. But just follow my lead. And also, when you enter this cave, um, spikes will fall down. So you want to be oh, see, like I said, if you don't push against the wind, you get you get flung like that. And it's very bad. Like I was saying, uh, you want to be very quick when entering the cave because spikes fall down. So you just want to like run through, dash up, and yep, 
like I said, if you do get ragdolled, uh, just press right click, you'll unragdoll. But you want to be careful because it is very easy to ragdoll here. But you want to go through this uh, bridge, and at the end of this bridge, the uh, the NPC does spawn. So you do want to be careful. Like I said, you want to you take some food too, because I am running low on food, like I said. So just push through, and now he should come here. Hey, right, don't worry. Don't don't panic. When you, don't panic, okay? You're going to panic when he first spawns here, but you don't want to panic. And when he throws his bone, you want to just parry it. You know, just block, parry, dodge. That's literally all I can tell you. And don't block that. You want to be careful. So, I would say stick to two and ones. And he'll also just kind of like... We like, shoves his arm up or whatever, like that. Oh, he's going to throw the bone. That's very weird. But anyways, you just block, parry, dodge. And dodge out that way so you don't get by that. You do just want to learn his pattern or whatever. Honestly, just dodge out of his stomp. And don't get hit with the grab. Just dodge out of it. Um, dodge out of that as well. You want to dodge faster than you think. He does do it earlier than you think. Literally just block parry dodge. I can't really explain. You could just watch me do it and just learn his uh, attack pattern. But all I can really tell you is just learn his attack pattern, man. It, it took me a while to learn it too. You'll have light hook, don't worry. Light hook will save you. But it does get reset every time from 20 minutes to 10 minutes once you die. So you do want to be careful for that. Oops. And yeah, once you do enough damage, you'll get posture broken. And that's how you know you're doing good damage. Yeah, so just just watch me do him my bad for talking a lot i'm just trying to show you guys how to do this um, but anyways i'll just be quiet now for the rest of this fight so you can just learn his attack pattern and yeah once you kill him you want to continue going on from the bridge just completely straight just go straight and don't talk to this npc he's not really important you want to take the right and i will show you the way for if you have little to no agility so you're gonna be very careful here just like hug the wall right hug the wall come here Keep jumping around it, keep hugging the wall, climb over this, climb over this one, and then climb over this one, and you want to talk to this generator, and, well, you can't really talk to the generator, but just restart it, it is extremely loud, so be careful for that, and then you can just run over here, where the zip line is, and drop down, don't, don't follow the, the, the line, or with the hook, or with the, the fucking power line, don't follow that, just drop down, and then, basically, just run back to the uh, lanterns to wash off your parasites, because you're going to have a couple. So just run back to Parasites, I'll just speed me up running back to it. Okay, you want to be careful for wind again. Wind is always going to be a thing. And yeah, Parasites will like make a popping sound. That's when you know you have like a lot of them. So I do want to get there <laughs> before I die. Oh, look at that. I got like five on me now, so I do got to speed this up. My bad, I got to like hurry before I fucking die. Okay, there we go. I washed them all off. And now, um, this will be the next part. I'm gonna do the part for Gale Wax, the Intent Stones now. And I will also do the part for a time or how to get the zipline talent. Talent, my god, I can't speak. But, anyways, unless if you just wanna keep going, you don't wanna get any talents, I would recommend getting the zipline talent though. If you don't have a lot of agility, I would highly recommend getting the zipline talent. But, anyways, let me just start the time step now. Okay, so this is the part for getting the zipline talent. Um, like I said, you le probably left off here at the Castle of Light, or not Castle of Light, my god, the, the uh, Lantern place, like I did. And now you just want to go back to the beginning. I'll speed me up doing that. Okay, so once you've made it back to the beginning area, right, this is how to get the zipline talent. First, what you want to do is, obviously, you want to start the generator. That's You need to have the generator started to get this talent. But anyways, you just want to make your way through over here. You did not have to come all the way back here like I did. I'm just a dumbass. You just had to come back to here. And leave this little platform here that you want to jump over to. This fucking wind is so annoying, but I, I got knocked over so many times. Like, anyways, you want to make your way to this platform, and you just want to climb down it. And there'll be like a little tree down here that you won't be able to see, but I can because I have another talent that's different. But anyways, you want to come down to this uh, tree right here, and then there'll be like this little miner's base, and the door will be open since you do have the, uh, since you did, um, you know, turn on the power. And basically, just come all the way down here to um, back here, and if you have some parasites on you, you can literally wash off right there. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But anyways, don't talk to this guy. He's not important to you right now. 
Uh, what you want to do is you want to take the left from that door or whatever, and you want to come over here, and that's me wasting or losing life. Look, so if I die, it's fucking over for me. But anyways, um, you want to talk to this guy right here? You see, so what about owing me one? And then you say anything else, end dialogue, and now you get the union hook. That's what it's called, the union hook talent. I could not think for that of me what it's called. Anyway, whoops, wrong guy. Anyways, once you get the union hook, now you can use those zip lines I was talking about earlier. If you watch that part, um, most likely. But anyways, now you just want to leave. And the way you leave is you just come up here, uh, come out through the way you came, come up to the right, right up here. And you can just, uh, you can either take the ladder or there's a, there. oh, okay, well, there's a bounder there. So you can either take that ladder, and if you don't want to take the ladder because you're scared of the bounder, I'm pretty sure you can just come to the to the left of the place you entered from, and there will be a union hook right back here. Yep, just take my path, there'll be a union hook back here. Just press E on it, and you'll be taking up, and yep, there's the union hook that was over by here. And just make sure you push against the wind and that's how you get the union hook talent okay i will now be showing um how to get the enchanted stones right there'll be a little room where you can have enchanted stones and you need four gelwax for that and the first gelwax or i will now be showing the gelwax locations okay um there's a real gelwax like to the left right here as soon as you come out this door right and now you just want to drop down right be careful though there's like a little right there you can do just be careful and once you drop down just take like a hard left hard left come here and by this big tree or whatever, there'll be another Gelwax. Don't pay attention to that dead guy. Just come over here. Gelwax right there. And the way to climb back up, um, it's kind of difficult. You could either go through that tree or whatever. Or if you got the Union Hook talent first, this is where it comes really fucking useful. If you get the Union Hook talent, you can just kind of make your way to the Union Hook, which um, I'm kind of lost right now. But anyways, uh, let, me, let me backtrack real quick. My bad. But anyways, once you get that Gelwax that's over here to the right, just uh, I'm pretty sure you go through this uh, little tunnel right here. And you have to swallow my lead, and the ladder will be right there, or you can come all the way around and get the union hook. First, I'm gonna wash off because I don't want these parasites to kill me. Okay, so I just realized that there's another Gelwax like right here to so this power hook tunnel. So you can literally get the Gelwax that's bio over there, and then come through here to the to this tunnel, get the Gelwax, and then just make your way over here through this little hole. And there'll be the union hook right here if you have that talent, which I'm I highly recommend you go get first because you will need it for like end game. You just take the talent up here and yeah i just realized you can do that i did not even know that till now but you need four galax in total but now you want to make your way to the uh boss keeper room right where chase or where the mini boss was the uh i forgot his name but you want to make your way to the uh the, the cave over there right so let me just speed myself up getting over there Okay, so now you've made it to the cave of the bosses, uh, be careful to not touch the white stuff, I did not mention that, um, don't touch the white, oh, okay, okay, as I said, I touched the white stuff, but don't touch the white stuff, that is parasites, so, you don't want to touch that, anyways, the get waxes will be right here in this corner, um, there is another one back there, you probably saw I was going up to the generator, it's just like that little white blob, you can get that one over there if you did not really pay attention to where the other one was, but anyways, let me just go back now. You want to go back to the fucking beginning, right? So let me speed myself up getting fucking back there. First, I'm going to wash off, right? Or I'll just come back when I'm back at the beginning, but I'm going to wash off first. Okay, I'm back at the beginning. Just like run down to here where this like path splits off. And remember this path I told you not to worry about because it was important? Well, yeah, now the path is important now that you want to get the Enchant Stones and the Gelwax. So, um, yeah, so now that you get the uh, the path here, whatever, you want to go through the path. Be careful. You do have to push against the wind. There'll be like this little broken bridge. Watch out. You want to wait for the wind to come back. And after that, you just want to jump over. You can slide jump over it or just kind of like traverse it. But don't fall down because it's nothing but void. If you fall down, you will get wiped. And if you don't have the light hook, that is. But yeah, since I have light hook, I'm, or since I don't have light hook, I want to be very careful. And you want to just turn on these candles with the gel wax. And be careful with pushing against the wind. Just turn them on. This thing will open. And you just want to drop into it. And there should be lanterns down here for you to wash off with. And yeah, the first chest is just located down here. Down to like the second floor or whatever. And there could be an enchant stone. But yep, Elpsification is in here. And then the next one will be all the way down. Right here. And this is wild. Very shit. But anyways, and then the last one, the third and last one, is just all the way here hidden in this back corner. Which is, wow. Uh, oh, pfft, I got an enchanted Chris Glaive. It's a uh, Elpsification one. So that 
pretty cool, pretty cool, you know, you get you can get some pretty cool shit. I didn't I didn't think I could get a enchanted thing off it though. Uh, that's new for me. But yeah, you can get some pretty good shit down here. I've gotten vamp and all that stuff, you know. Uh this I'll get most of my enchants I'm just down here. Or you can get in red chaser. But now anyways you know, climb climb my up and be careful, it is very tricky getting back up. And once you do get back up, push against the wind. Like I said, you want you do not want to fall to wind. Um, and then jump back over and yeah, that's how you get the enchant stones and now I will meet you back at the lantern place the main lantern place Okay, now see me to part on how to get to the chaser boss room or like the next part to getting to it Um, I highly suggest going back and getting the union hook talent if you did not if you skipped that part I would highly suggest going back and doing that because it's very important But Anyways now we just want to um, come through this exit. I told you not to worry about earlier But you want to come to this exit now don't take that top one not really important You want to come through this one and just drop down here and at the you can slide down here if you want but at the bottom left of this there will be three npcs that spawn you kind of just want to jump over it or you can just take it jump over it slide down there and there could be npcs that spawn here so you want to just be careful yep three npcs that spawn there you can just be careful you can run down here and i would suggest dropping down here because if you try to walk up there you're gonna have trouble bro you're gonna have trouble with the fucking npcs they're gonna hit you and you're gonna get stuck because there's wind so just drop down and just follow my path um basically there's gonna be a bounder too uh just run away from it you want to take this cave this cave will be now open now that you open or now that you turn on the generator now take my path right after enter the cave you want to take a right and you just want to run through here okay just yep start running start running because the bounder is chasing you and go right uh, don't not go left just take my path go right now after the spikes you want to keep going straight right here uh be careful for this just jump over it whatever just just jump over it and yeah, because that'll drop down, and they'll be for later. Anyways, actually made it through here. Um, okay, there will be a bounder right there. Uh, just kind of pass through it, whatever, right? Keep going straight. Keep going straight right here through this little blue light. And then you want to climb up this, you know? You want to climb up this, whatever, right? Just climb up it. If you see the blue light right here, turn around. You got to go through here, the darker path. You got to take the darker path. And you want to go straight. There'll be NPCs here. Don't go straight. Just take the right. Ignore the NPCs. Go left. Take this right, and you want to press this blue button that will open these doors up right here. And there's a lantern behind this door that you can wash off your parasites at. My bad from bad X this. I do not. I'm not going like off a of script or anything. I'm just kind of doing this like live or whatever. But just just climb up here. You can do it with zero agility. Just climb up here, and then don't go that way. Go this way where this NPC is, and you want to talk to this NPC. This is how you get to talk to this. Uh, the, uh, how you talk to the other NPC. He won't give you the same dialogue as me because I already did it. We just talk to him, press one or whatever, and now you just want to take it, or you just want to go to the back of this village or whatever, and there will not be another NPC up here. My bad for stuttering sometimes, but it's very fucking bad. But anyways, talk to this guy right here. Uh, he was gonna say he's not gonna give you this dialogue, but just talk to him, keep talking to him until he says find the spear or something or whatever. And once you talk to him, right, he's gonna tell you to find the spear. Like I just said, what am I repeating myself for? And you want to ignore that. I didn't even notice that until now, but ignore that. And you want to go back down to the cave, right? Okay, so just follow my lead. I'm not going to cut it out because it's very important. Come back down to this cave. Wash off again. Just just because. Why not? It's very important. And now you want to go back down to where you, uh, how you climbed up. So just go where I said the two paths split. Um, where this path split. You want to drop back down. Uh, make sure not to fall into this white parasite. Turn around. Whatever. You know. And walk straight from here. And go back to that path that crumbled down. So like right. Um, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right over here. Where this pack crumbles down and just just walk shape because you're gonna oh walk straight over here you don't want to fall the way down to that bounder oh yep so just walk straight to the right or whatever and you want to come down to this blue blob of light now i'm gonna take it very slow for you guys just come here turn left oh my god yep turn left and then go slightly left again to where you see these like white parasites whatever and i just want to jump on the things don't touch the parasites just jump over it uh be kind of fast because spikes do fall i think and now you're faced here. You want to go right? Oh my god, my bad. And go right, then take a left, and you can just slide down here. Uh, you got to be very spa fast. Yep, because fucking them bitches fall. So yeah, just be very fast. Once you come down here, that's where the spear is. Now be careful. Once you do take the spear, and three NPCs will spawn. So you want to drop down, take the spear, press one, and you just want to climb the fuck up, and you want to go back up these stairs. Don't worry, I don't think the spears or the spears fall again or the whatever. I'm not saying I'm, whatever that shit's called. Maybe. Now you're gonna come back up to where you first came through. And you wanna take a right. This is how you get it. You can't go through the same way you came because it's blocked off. But you wanna take a right, come here. 
uh, go back through the parasites, whatever, whatever works for you, or however you get over this. And you want to come left, and you want to take a, a sharp left, I'm pretty sure. You don't watch out for the spikes here, and just keep going straight down this alleyway. And at the end of this alley, there'll be another bounder that you just want to dash through, okay? Watch out for the spikes too. And come around this corner. Don't take straight, just turn, just come around the corner. Okay, and you just want to climb up. And after climbing up, you turn around right over here. This path will be open. And you want to keep going straight. Take the right. This is where usually I kind of get lost. Uh, even I get lost. But you can take this right. Come around the corner again. And then basically just watch out for the spikes again. Come left. And now you're back at the beginning right here. Look at that. We, we're, we're not lost. You're back where the thing falls. Just go straight around it. And now you just want to come back to the um, this right place where you climb up. And this is where the two paths meet again. You want to go back to the spear guy because you need to talk to him now that you got a spear just ignore the npcs like always come back here to where the uh, door is wash off and just go back up to this guy you know the same way you did climb up here yada 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 and now don't talk to him you want to talk to this guy back here and also uh information key information once you do the spear quest once once you talk to this guy you will he will give you the talent and he'll give you a talent that makes not everything foggy, you know. Once you talk to him, and once you come back down to layer 1, after you complete this layer, or floor, you don't ever have to uh, do the spirit quest again. Just come talk to him, he'll say greetings, or whatever, you've done as a service. And then, um, the doors will open, or the door to the to, to get to the chaser boss room will open. Don't worry about that, so... But yeah, once you talk to him, he'll, get, he'll open the door for you, and I'll show you which door he opens right now. But once you do the quest once on one slot, you don't ever have to do it again. You just have to do it on new slots, okay? You don't ever have to do, worry about doing it again, so you don't have to waste time, okay? Okay, so Editor Suki here, what I meant to say was that you don't have to do the quest again, as in getting the spirit, but you do have to talk to the NPC in order to open the upcoming door. That is what I meant to say, so sorry for the confusion, but anyways, continue on. So now anyways, just come back down to where the, uh, the path split. You wanna go back down there? Don't go, don't, don't go down. My bad. Uh, jump across it right here, right? I told you not to worry about this. The blue light over there. And now the door opens. This is the door that was blocked off before, but now it's open. Also, people say to talk to this guy because well, don't talk to him because he's gonna kick you off and you're gonna do you're gonna take fall damage. Now, before I start this shit, okay? Once you get down here, you wanna keep running all the way straight. Just take my path. I gotta be fast with it because yep, shit ton of bounders spawn. Um, and basically, yeah, he, yeah, that's yeah. You don't wanna get hit by them. Ignore them, do not even try to fight them. Just run through, right? Dodge them, take my pass, run all the way fucking straight, but I gotta be fast with this shit. Dodge them, whatever you gotta do, right? Um, just keep running straight, and then uh, there'll be another bounder there, and then you'll be met with this path. Go left, do not go right, go left. Uh, people say you can go right, but it's a much riskier path, so just go left right here, and then you'll be a lancer you can wash off at. So now that you're here, right? Oh, watch out because there's spikes that fall. There'll be this little path you can take, right? You would, um, you kind of just gotta, you know, hopefully you make the jump, you kind of like, leap of faith. Also, these things will fall the longer you stand on them, or if you stand on them for a long time, they will fall. So simply just jump, dash, and then climb, right? That's how you do it, that's how you make it, and be careful because I will fall on you. You can do a zero jilly, I'm pretty sure, but just, you know, take it easy, just jump off that spike, dash, climb on the wall, right? And now here, there'll be a bone keeper or whatever, right? You don't have to fight him, just simply run around them, right? Be careful, dash around them, whatever you're gonna do, run around them. And then now, it'll be, watch out for the bone, right? This will not hit us, right? Once you take the right, okay, yep, just be careful for that. Once you take the right, there'll be like this like path here. Just take it, watch out, be fast with it, jump, climb, come through here, and these will fall. You wanna be fast with it, okay? And now when you, now you're gonna climb up here, there's a bit of parkour, right? Just take my path, watch out, like I said, because it will like boot you off, right? You can take your time, right? I'm pretty sure you can do this with zero, zero agility, but take your time. Don't, make sure you don't fucking fall. If you can't do it, just like dash up, dash up, then climb. And we another bone keeper in here that you gotta ignore. Run through here, ignore him, right? And now you gotta run straight, run straight, just run straight, okay? Just run straight and then just make your dash, okay? Because you might throw a bone at you, just run straight, make that jump, come through here, and now there's be this ladder that you just climb up, just climb up here. And I'm, I'm gonna just do it the easy way, fast for me, and you can do it that way. And we another bone keeper, just ignore him, ignore him, just keep running to the left, take the left, keep running, and watch out, he throw a bone, just run out here. Now that you're out here, do not do anything, just take the right and take this uh, union hook. If you have the union hook talent, perfect, you can take a hook, if not you gotta climb up some way. That's why I said it's very important you take, you take that union hook talent. But now anyways, you wanna make your parkour over here, just follow my path. And yep, you can just make your way here, climb up this one, and now you're at the chaser room. There you go, congrats, you made it to chaser. 
and now this is how you fight chaser okay you want to talk to chaser talk on one whatever and you can just hit him out of that dialogue but now this is where you have to be very careful i'm going to teach you how to dodge his sound cues right all right anyways you gotta destroy the blood jars okay so when he doesn't make a sound cue he's gonna throw those at you or okay look at that anyways when he doesn't make a sound cue he's gonna throw like three blobs at you just like that you just want to parry them and then once he falls down don't do anything you can either spit on him for health or you can just ignore him or whatever right but if he doesn't make noise he either drops spikes or he'll throw those blobs at you but when he makes a noise like a loud sound you want to dodge it like what sound let's see that sound right you want to dodge he'll either do that or he'll try to grab you and throw you down or yep there are those blobs for no noise so yeah just destroy the blobs that he's sucking from and if it does uh, fall spikes just come to the edge the spikes will not hit you or you can just block and they will not break your posture there you go just like that and he drops down and you just go over to him you just put on him and you just want to keep doing this until he eventually dies you don't have to hit him there's no point in hitting him he does not take damage from that he takes damage from the blood bars that he sucks out of right, right here there you go and then yep like that he'll, he'll fucking make a noise you just want to dodge yada, 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 right he'll drop spikes be careful you can block and i'll show you that they don't break your paw okay i like sometimes they will hit behind your block and you will end up taking damage but just be careful to not take damage so just stand on the edge it's the best thing you do dodge that right there dodge the sound cues right the sound cues are how you don't get hit and i'm getting hit by literally everything by that but anyways just keep spinning on him and yep just keep spinning on him for some health keep doing this and then basically um you just keep repeating this i'm gonna keep showing the fight though just so you show the entire thing oh yeah he will do this just jump over it you can jump over it your your your, uh, your jump will not be put on cooldown just keep jumping um he does it again he usually does not do it this much time but also you can just jump in also don't take one bit of damage because if you take if you get hit once by these then you'll be hit by all of them so yeah just make sure you jump over them yep he falls down go back spit on him um vampirism and bloodless do not work on him that's why i'm not hitting him sorry if it looks a little dark in the recording but yep now he's on the second stage a bunch of spikes will fall block all of that and now the second stage is here there's no difference between first and second stage to be honest it's just yo he's almost dead oh yeah see you get hit by this you get by all of them i think the only difference is he does more damage that's pretty much it and yeah just want to keep dodging everything keep hitting all the blood bars take your time right make sure if you don't if you think you can't get to one blood drive to another from from where he uh what's it called from like um between his attack attack bands or whatever just wait for the next attack don't i wouldn't say risk it you know just wait for the next attack. be patient patience is key you know patient and keeping calm in this situation is key very key to beating him and yep just oh okay i could not dodge that because i was shivering very nice jesus and okay yep if you do get hit just make sure to block that block before he grabs you and block after he grabs you i'm pretty sure you won't take any damage at all but anyways you just want to dodge it so you don't take damage in general right and yep there we go if i did not fucking shiver i would not have taken damage but it's okay just keep dodging everything just show you all the bars and then the last one will be right here okay i'm gonna take all this damage very fucking nice if you get to the very edge you probably can uh like jump over all of them but yeah just keep doing this and eventually he will die um but yeah, i'm just keep showing myself me doing this i'm fucking shivering like crazy because i have no fucking type of sanity okay i have no type of uh, willpower on this build and i've been down here in the depths for like a while so yeah just keep dodging everything like i said i repeated myself like 10,000 times right now oh my god i don't know but literally that's all you gotta keep doing and i think this is the last one you gotta do once there's like very little blood jars or actually i think one more will do yeah probably one more maybe i'm not sure yeah one more will do jesus dude that's so annoying but yeah this should be the last one and just gonna watch me do this real quick just gonna yep just like that hit it and boom he'll probably attack one more time nope he doesn't okay so when he starts doing this just block and get on top of something get on top of something and block because he might hit you with moves okay and it's very important i'd rather it's very important to dodge the moves all right he might hit you with some moves all right there you go he could hit me with that with the uh the little three attack pattern whatever but just keep blocking right this will not break your posture he's just gonna end up killing himself now in game in game youtube chill out but he just end up uh hurting himself right offing himself uh don't take that you want to take the chest do not take that either that is for floor two make do your best to not go in there that is for floor two if you don't know how floor two you're fucked right do not do that do not do that just loot the chest right there'll be gems there'll be uh stuff you can sell or whatever new fucking stuff you know a uh, bunch of weapons that you can sell right just take all of this shit i'm not gonna take the rest because i don't need them but anyways yeah do not take that take this this is how you light hook out right this is how you get out and there you go you have completed floor one and my bad if it was very um very bad very hard for me to explain i did not have a script and i'm very bad with like explaining stuff so anyways 
that'll be floor one uh let me know if you have any comments below that i can answer like any like you know miscommunication that i might i can clear up that's gonna be the video hopefully you enjoyed me uh the guide or whatever and yeah just i'll try to pump out that floor two guide uh as soon as i can but anyways yeah that's gonna be it GG's. goodbye